Welcome to the Empowering Industry Podcast, a production from Empowering Pumps and Equipment as the voice of the pump and related equipment industry. Everybody and welcome to the Empowering Industry Podcast. I'm your host, Charlie Matthews. Excited to be here. I love that it's summer. We are having a great, great time here. I'm in Alabama, so it's warm. Uh, but, you know, I'm I'm curious um, from, from you listeners, kind of how you're doing. So make sure that you send me messages. You can, you know, send me a message on any social media platform, or you can send me an email. Um, I love LinkedIn. You can just direct message me anytime. So do that. Um, today, I do have a special guest. He has been on the podcast before. He um, is with SEPCO, which is one of our partners, um, and just one of the experts in the ceiling uh, device uh, industry. So I am excited to have you join me. David, welcome. Uh, please introduce yourself and let everybody know kind of who you are and what you do there. Well, thank you, Charlie. I appreciate it. Uh, again, my name is David Brewer. I am the Atlantic Regional Manager for SEPCO, Ceiling Equipment Products Company. Um, and I actually spend a lot of time with SEPCO out on the road, uh, traveling in, up and down the I-95 corridor and uh, spend a lot of time with my end users and uh, my distributors. Um, but I'm pleased to be here. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. And if y'all haven't seen it yet, uh, we did do a podcast with David earlier on mechanical seals versus packing. Uh, so take a look at that and I will link to it in the show notes too. But today we're talking about the Inland Marine Show that you're about to attend in Nashville. So I'm excited about that and to learn a little bit more uh, just about the show. I've never been. So if you could give us a little insight into the show and why you're there. Sure. That's great. We are uh, this year, uh, we are an exhibitor at the Inland Marine uh, Expo in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we will be, uh, uh, I guess, showing and, um, and featuring certain product lines of ours that are specific to the marine industry. Um, you know, several will be things like mechanical packing, mechanical seals. Um, we also have fire sleeving that we'll be talking about uh, while we're there at the uh, at the show. Um, but this mo this show mainly revolves around uh, work boats in the inland uh, marine areas like big rivers, the Mississippi River, uh, things of that nature, big lakes, uh, the Great Lakes, um, where you have uh, work boats uh, such as barges and tugboats and things of that nature. And we feature products that are specific to that industry. Yeah. Tell me about the, the sleeves. I, I, tell me more about that. So our fire sleeving is a product that we manufacture at SEPCO. Um, it is a fiberglass um, uh, weave that or braid, excuse me, that goes over wiring to protect the wiring. It's then coated with a um, red silicone material. Um, and it's very good where you have, ex you know, very hot, uh, very abrasive uh, areas around surrounding uh, wires and, and, and hydraulic hoses and things like that. And it protects uh, that those kind of feeds from being damaged. Okay. So within the boat or ship itself, um, then you, you kind of are protecting someone to, they're not getting hot because you've protected that, sealed that right. away. from Either them. or it could either protect, okay. yes, people from being burned from hot lines, like mm -hmm. steam lines and things mm -hmm. like that. Or it can protect, uh, you know, a lot of these barges and huge uh, boats that are, that, that are out on these, um, uh, these areas, uh, they have forklifts and things like that could damage, you know, bumping into these, these wires and these, uh, these hydraulic lines and things of that nature. So, yeah, yeah. it does both. It protects us people and then it protects uh, the, the equipment itself. Okay. Interesting. I had, I had never really thought about that. And then, you know, I have been to the workboat show. Um, it's in New Orleans every year around uh, November, December timeframe. Uh, so I, I love that industry. And, it, you know, they're so essential, right, that you're you're moving um, goods and services or, or you know, just re really that's the main thing that I know of as far as what they're doing out there. Yes. Uh, you know, that that's, they're very similar. The workboat show and the Inland Marine Expo are, are very similar in that these are uh, actual working boats or working ships uh specifically one of the things that you know we're going to be talking about while we're there is barges huge dredging barges these are the big dredges that you see in inlets of uh big huge uh, uh inland 
um, areas where uh, you have sands that shift and, and whatnot. Um, also mining, uh, people do a lot of mining from these barges um, and you have pumps and uh, equipment that is moving that material from one place to another. We make a lot of products that service that industry. So uh, that's another one of those uh, areas that we are, we feel like we have a lot of expertise in. Absolutely. Um, I just got back from Alaska on a cruise ship, right? Which is not quite the same thing that we're talking about, but I just think about it all the time. Um, it has to sustain life while they're on the ship. So that is another, just like in the Navy, right? Those ships have to be able to run and sustain life aboard. Um, right. And so those pumps and equipment are critical for that aspect, as well as whatever work that they're doing while they're there. That's right. No, a absolutely. Um, you know, one of the products that we feature uh, that we're going to be talking a lot about while we're there are the stern tube shafts. You know, these are the shafts that turn the propeller mm -hmm. and those stern tubes, you know, they go through uh, the bulkhead of, of a boat or ship or whatever, and they have to they have to be sealed off. And one of the products that we feature heavily is uh, is our GFO. It's, it's a product that W.L. Gore makes. Um, and uh, so our the way we make it is we take their textile and braid it into a mechanical packing um, and it's an industry standard for stern tube sealing ours is you know called 4002 4002 um, and it's an industry standard for that for that specific application wow well that, that's impressive uh, and definitely important uh, we don't want that leaking no uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well wonderful well it sounds like this is a great show i mean anytime in nashville is a, a fun time but um, to be able to kind of introduce yourself again into this market uh, is always great, right? Uh, to be at a trade show and event to talk talk with the people. Um, and, and I think that that's it, right? We have so many different applications for sailing um, and, and just reminding people that that you are a um, a product that that serves this market. Oh, absolutely. When, when we're at these shows, it's it's always, I've been doing this now 28 years. And every time we show up at one of these uh expos it's just amazing you learn new problems that people are having you get to solve those problems work with the end users work with the customers and try to figure out solutions and um, it never fails that every time we show up we learn something new about the industry you know well, whether yeah, go ahead go I'm ahead. sorry well I was gonna say like give us some tips about being somebody so since you've been traveling and doing these trade shows for so long uh, tell us like what how do you have a successful event well for us it's 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 activity. It's, you know, speaking with people and having them get by your booth and sit down with you and, and put their hands, actual hands on some of our product. Cause we leave a lot of stuff out on the table mm -hmm. and it's, it never fails that somebody will come by and go pick it up and go, what's this for? Mm -hmm. And as soon as you start a conversation, you realize, well, Hey, I have a need for that. And this is where it goes. And, um, or it, it always helps that if they don't know somebody, somebody in their area might have a problem, you know, mm -hmm. so that they'll always put us in touch with them. So we, we typically have a lot of success at these shows. Yeah. And, and you always have demonstrations that are happening uh, on the show floor, uh, which is really great. I mean, I love, um, I love when people, you know, have something that they can show up that I can video or, you know, do something on social with. Right. But uh, I do love y'all's videos um, and demonstrations there uh, on the show floor. And I think that that's important, right. That you have something going on, the knowledge that you're going to share out into the market uh, is so important. Right. No, ab absolutely. Uh, we, and actually at this specific show, we have three other guys from our, from uh, Birmingham, well, Alabaster, Alabama, um, at, from our factory coming out. And those are, all those guys are subject matter experts and they can answer questions um, and, and come up with great solutions when, when necessary. So yeah, it is when, when we're able to showcase and do uh, demos, uh, demonstrations of how our products work, it always seems to be a, a great uh, showstopper. Yeah, for sure. Well, is, is there any other um, kind of advice or things to look for from SEPCO that you want to share with our audience? Well, I, you know, one of the things I didn't get to really talk too much about uh, was um, one of the things that we are showcasing is our, I, mean, I mentioned dredge, dredging barges and mm -hmm. things like that. So um, the dredge pumps, you know, require a very specific type of packing that goes into them. It has to be tough, has to transfer heat. 
um, you have to be able to load it very easily. Um, we have products for that. We have a multitude of different products for that specifically. Uh, you know, Sepco braids over 700 different styles of packing. So uh, we always have a solution for whatever you're looking for. And one of those things in specific are the dredge pumps that, uh, that we are going to be working with and servicing and things of that nature. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I, th I think that again, that's just another way, like even if you're thinking about pumps and you just maybe haven't thought about that particular, um, you know, application that, I mean, I just think it's an eye opener because so many people work on maybe not just the, the boat itself, right. Maybe other things around that area. Um, or just like you said, um, maybe this is a problem that somebody that, you know, in the industry is having, and right. you can be of, of service to them there. So I, I think it's really interesting of how, well, we're all connected. So, you know, <laughs> be friendly at trade shows and connect as much as That's you right. can. That's yeah. right. And go see people. I mean, it's a, th these are typically big shows and, you know, if you can afford to leave your booth for a minute or two and somebody else can take, uh, take over, walk around and, and, uh, be able to go see other, other booths and, uh, understand why certain other companies are, are exhibiting there and, and learn more about their products as well. Absolutely. Great advice. Well, David, I won't keep you any longer. I know you've got, um, to get to the show and, and <laughs> get, get settled there, but, um, I think that, you know, any, any type, um, of information on ceiling. You, you've got it there on your website. Um, people can connect with you there and we'll definitely put that in the show notes. But okay. um, if, if somebody wants to get in touch with you directly, what's the best way? So the best way to get in touch with me is my email. It's uh, davidb at sepco.com. Um, or like you had just said, you can www.sepco.com and we have uh, ways for you to get in touch with all of our regional managers through through our website. Well, awesome. Well, thank you. Uh, hopefully everybody has a great time at the show. Uh, connect before, during, or after the show. Uh, I love it. And uh, I guess until next time, everybody, be empowering. Thank you.